Hello, everyone. I've got a couple of new questions, so I'm going to record short tutorials related to every single question. The first question was, how can you add your supervisor to your project proposal? So this tutorial is going to be focused just on this question. So first of all, you have to be registered again into the participant portal. So as you see here, I am already registered, signed in. And once you are signed in, you will probably get a page like this or a page looking like this. In any case, you have to click, you have to select my proposals. And here you will have the page where you can edit your draft project proposal. So I do edit draft and now you see they forwarded me already into the fourth step, participants. In the participants, you can't change your supervisor or add your supervisor. As you see, there is no option how to do it here. What you have to do is go back to participants list, back to participants list. So it's this third step, create proposal. So I'm going one step back. And here you can see, I have my host institution I can still change my host institution, which would be a bit weird, but I can also here add my supervisor. You see, I can add a contact. At this moment in my mock project proposal, I am acting as a supervisor, but I would like to change my role to a researcher. So I'm just going to edit it. I'll change my project role into the researcher. I'm going to give myself full access. I'm going to up update my contact. So that's it. And if I want to add my supervisor, I'll just add a contact. I select the supervisor, give him full access. Be careful because you have to provide here the same email address with which your supervisor is also registered to the funding portal. So he needs to be registered in order to be able to um, edit your project proposal. So now I can add a contact and you see I have already my supervisor. This is quite useful to know and understand that you can add all kinds of contact. So it doesn't have to be just you and your uh, supervisor. You can also add people from project management department. So I can always add another contact person. I can decide whether this person is going just to read my project proposal and check it for possible problems or whether I would like to give to that person full access to be able to edit my project proposal as well. So it's up to you, this decision. You can always start with just read only access and later if they find some problems, you can always change their access rights to coordinate or contact full access. Again, I can call my support, support, surprisingly, add a contact so that we have. And I now added my supervisor, contact person. You can always get rid of your contact person. Um, well, that's it. That's the answer to your question. So I hope it helped. Thank you. And here you see you in the next video. Bye.